Hello everyone, welcome back to more Lunar. We got some time to play. Let's do it like, we're going to magic school. Last episode we passed the trial. And now we get to go hang out at school. Uh, Cause we're just, you know, channeling our Harry Potter. Nash, you ran out on us again, you fucking asshole. Hello Alex, I'm glad you finally made it. What do you think of Vane? Breathtaking, isn't it? Yeah man, it's all right, all right. I'm trying to be mad at you, I can't. It's pretty awesome. Galleon is occupied at the moment, so I'll escort you to the parlor. The parlor? Uh, actually, we'd rather look around the magic guild, wouldn't we? Actually, yeah. Alright then, suit yourselves. Luna, would you also care to wander the guild's halls? Uh, perhaps later. Right now, sitting down and getting off my feet sounds wonderful. Yeah, give her a break, man. We just passed the damn trials. Then I'll just have to give you a private tour of the Magic Guild sometime, Luna. Easy. Easy, Nash. Alex, come on upstairs whenever you're ready to meet with Galleon. <laughs> Alex, this place is huge. I hope we don't get lost. Yeah, me too, man. Me too. I'll come for you when Galleon's ready. If you need anything in the meantime, Luna, please let me know. Thank you, Nash. I will. Luna's got a nice little pad here. Ah. Shoutouts to her little character model not being able to sit down. <laughs> that song, it's Alex? Who is this mystery? Oh, look at him. He's getting down. C chord, D chord, C chord, D chord. I'm just kidding. I don't know music. It sounds a little bit more like a, I don't know, E major. <laughs> B minor? F sharp. Those sandals though. Look at him. This dude is too cool. What's up, man? Oh, please forgive my intrusion. I thought it was Alex. Uh, I mean my friend who was playing that song. Hmm. It's no bother. So breathy. Uh oh, you're blushing, Luna. That's a nice little shot right there. That's a thumbnail. It was no bother. Super breathy. Um, you play beautifully, sir, but may I ask how you come to learn that melody? Dine composed that melody when he was a boy, before he became the Dragon Master. Who knew Dine was a musician? Dragon Master Dine wrote that. Alex never told me. Why am I always the last person to know these things? Now, now, I'm certain this Alex, quote unquote, Probably was just unaware of the piece. No need to get unnecessarily upset. It doesn't become you. Shoutouts to his red eyes. It's always, it's always the strangest thing I've ever thought with, uh, with anime. Why certain characters have red eyes. You must be a new student here at the guild. And quite a fetching one at that. Slow your roll, elf dude. What? Oh, no, I, I don't have any magical abilities. I've traveled here with- What do you mean you don't have any magical abilities, Luna? He's on a quest to become the Dragon Master. We've already met Quark, the White Dragon. And we're here to learn the locations of the other three. What about you? Perhaps you're on a quest of your own. Getting too personal. You may not even realize what you're searching for. At least, not yet. Oh, no, I'm, I'm not. Wait, the, the dream. Mm hmm? I, I keep having the same dream. But it doesn't quite feel like a dream, and it doesn't make any sense to me. I'm, I'm so sorry, I, I don't mean to ramble on with someone I just met. Don't apologize. 
Everyone wants to understand themselves and to know who they are. But not everyone is prepared for what they ultimately discover. Message! Uh, I... Are you prepared for your journey of discovery? Why does he talk like that? <laughs> Very vague. I, I think I need to sit down. I feel weak. Oh, I'll swoon. You okay, Luna? You never met an elf before? They do have that effect on you. <laughs> when should we go first, Alex? Let's go harass the elf. That's where we should go. Start at the start and take it away. Uh-oh, we interrupted class. We're gonna get in trouble. What are we teaching? Settle down, children. I have to take attendance. Excuse me, you must be looking for another classroom. You don't belong here. Although you certainly aren't properly... No, no, we're not. What? You aren't students? Then why are you interrupting me and disrupting my class? I bet this teacher's so evil that her students bring her puppies to eat instead of apples. Is that a thing? Hey, let's ask him. You're friends of Nash? I'm sure he's told you about his crush on Mia. Mia Ausa? Ausa. Ausa. Asa. But he doesn't have a chance. Mia is the next guildmaster, and Nash is just a struggling student. Exposition. He has to get his head out of the clouds and focus on reality, like passing next week's exam. Yeah, your words are like music in my ears. <laughs> Mia Ausa. Ausa. Where can I find Mia? Let's go check upstairs. Identical guards? Excuse me. Ooh, this place is nice. Should I be in here? Who's there? Um, the Dragon Master. Ooh, all the cutscenes. Sorry to interrupt. This was kind of rude. I just wandered into your room. Oh, are you gonna cry? I'm sorry. No. Yeah. I am feeling ill, so please inform the magic school I will not be present today. Oh! Please forgive me. I mistook you for one of my mother's messengers. Um, my name is Mia. Mia Ausa. Ausa. May I ask your name? Oh, and Mia nice. Ausa. I knew I had it right. Oh, I hope I haven't asked you anything too personal. It's just that it's been so long since I met someone who wasn't in the Magic Guild. So hopefully you'll forgive my curiosity. Yeah, I'm Nal, and this is Alex. Sorry about barging in. Yeah, we did just kind of run up in your room. That was kind of creepy. <laughs> we came here to talk to Galleon, who's going to tell us where to find the dragons. He couldn't talk to us right away, so we decided to explore the guild. And that's when we found you. You're looking for the dragons. How exciting. Yeah, it is, but we've only found the white dragon so far. Hey, hey, why don't you come along with us? I know you'd have lots of fun. Adventure? Me? No, I'm, I'm sorry. It's not permitted. No, we just met her, and you're just like, come wandering off into caves with us. It's kind of weird. You can't! Oh, well, I had to ask. <laughs> I mean, what adventurers wouldn't want a beautiful girl by the... No, I can't take you anywhere, man. <laughs> Thank you. No, I'm flattered. <laughs> wow, you're even cuter with a smile on your face, isn't she, Alex? Stop it. No, literally, no. Stop it. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! <laughs> what are you doing in here? How dare you enter Mia's room without permission? Who do you think she is? You're not allowed to speak to her, much less violate the sanctity of her bedchamber. <laughs> Nash is pissed. <laughs> Sorry, man. We were just wandering around. I didn't mean to stumble into your girlfriend's bedroom and let my cat throw game on her. Mia is the daughter of Limia and the future leader of the Magic Guild. Nash, these people aren't... I, I apologize for this, Mia. I should never have let these slovenly hicks... Fuck off, Nash. 
I take full responsibility for this invasion of your privacy and I beg your forgiveness. Nash, will you please shut the fuck up? Gelly, I will see you now. Come quickly. We <laughs> do drag us out of there. <laughs> Bye, Mia. Take care. Do I have to spell it out for you too? Quick. Oh, yeah, okay. I got you. <laughs> oh, he's dragging all out. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye, Mia. I'm sure we'll meet again later. Is Nash back with us? Yeah, he's back with us now. Huh? Let's go back in. <laughs> Mia, we're back. <laughs> Nash has something he wants to tell you. It was very nice to meet the two of you. Perhaps you can come back and talk to me again after you meet with Galleon. No, of course we will. You're the nicest girl we met since we left Berg. You'll be talking to Mia from inside of the dungeon. <laughs> Calm down, man. <laughs> Alright. Let's go meet Galleon. I'm assuming that's the elf dude that was hitting on Luna. Let's go see what he's got to say. Man, there's so many doors in this place. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, found another classroom. What are you doing back here? Lenny and Galleon have both canceled their classes indefinitely. I wonder what's going on. I thought the guild wanted to teach us how to use magic, not how to be bored out of our minds. I'm sure they have better things to do right now than to teach you, Yahoos. Hmm. Not a big fan of Nash. Hey, Luna. Did you have any run-ins with elves? Alex, where have you been? Galleon's been waiting for you for some time now. I mean, I came right over. These two wandered in places they most definitely should not have been, Luna. Yeah, we made friends with a girl named Mia. We'll introduce you to her if you like. Of course, no. You know I love meeting new people. And you know how much <laughs> our host loves doing two female voices talking to each other. Because <laughs> all of my two female voices sound the same. <laughs> Why don't you people focus on your intention on the business at hand? You've been granted an audience with Galleon, the great sage of the Magic Guild. Why don't you meet him first? So touchy. Fine, we'll go meet your elf friend. Nope, he's not even here. <laughs> Master Galleon, these are the adventures I mentioned to you earlier. Alex, Luna, and Nal. You, you were the one from before. Except now, you have on a headdress. Wow, three movies in one episode. I'll take it. Hmm? Piercing stare. Quit looking into my soul like that, man. Welcome to the Magic Guild, young Alex. I am Galleon. Nash has informed me of your trials and adventures, and that your help was crucial to his safe return. You have my gratitude. Oh, that was nothing. Can I have some magic powers now? It has come to my ears that you are in search of the dragons to become a dragon master. If what is said is true, I am sure luck must have been on your side in order for you to overcome the trial of the white dragon. Nah, <laughs> luck had nothing to do with it. Alex passed on his own merit. So it was his merit, was it? Please forgive my misgivings. Assuredly, there seems to be a magical ability emanating from within both you and Luna. Instead of searching for dragons, why not endeavor in the study of magic here in vain? I'm sure that you would find it far more promising for your future. Dude's trying to recruit the shit out of me. A shout out to his guitar case over there on the right hand side. Uh, um, um, finding, studying magic. I mean, studying magic does sound great, actually. <laughs> At some point in my life, I would like to study magic in vain. However, at this moment, finding the dragons takes precedence over any of my other interests. I can't become a dragon master if I don't find the dragons. That tracks. You certainly seem to have made up your mind. I applaud your determination. If such is your will, then my thought is to consign this case to your charge, Alex. <laughs> have you honestly considered letting them handle such an important case? Yes. 
Of course. I had in mind that you would accompany them, Nash. Yeah, you gotta hang out with us now. Me? Accompany them? Absolutely! If that is your wish, Master Galleon, then please leave everything to me. I will have a room prepared for you, Alex. Please rest here, this one night. For on the morrow, who says that, I will request that this single task be accomplished by your hand. I have high expectations riding on you, Alex. Now, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Nash doesn't get to leave us behind for a third time. Wow, Alex, this is Galleon, one of the four heroes who asked us to help him. I, I don't think I can sleep. Yeah, right. You'll be out in no time. The magic guild is kind of creepy and thrilling at night. Maybe we should have asked Luna to come, too. I mean, maybe. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Luna's staying in the school's female dorm. I can't imagine what kind of confusion that place would be thrown into if you shown up. I'll go call her along with me, no, I don't think so, no. You should probably stay here. <laughs> oh. Who's jamming at this time of night? What's that sound? Yeah, let's go have a look-see. The sound is it's so beautiful. With dot 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 number, uh, I don't know, 19? We'll say 19. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to intrude. I know it's terribly rude of me to ask the legendary Galleon, but would you mind playing your song again? Oh, not at all. How do you like my shower curtain ring shoulder pads? I started playing because I wanted to understand the meaning of songs and music, but even today, I have unfortunately been unable to grasp its essence. I don't think there's anything unfortunate about the way you play. The sound of your playing is incredible. And music isn't something that you use your head for anyway. It is something that comes from within. Luna, those were the very words of Don himself. Is, is that really true? Of course it is. He is your father. I feel increasingly eager to listen to your musical performance, Luna, and Alex. Alex, how long have you been standing there? Yeah, so this is where you were, Luna. What were you doing with Galleon? Huh? What was I doing? I, I couldn't sleep, so I went out for a walk and I heard someone playing music, so... And what about the two of you? Alex and all, what are you doing up so late? Yeah, we were out for a midnight stroll. Uh, yeah, that, yeah, we were. I am sure your head is running wild with thoughts of what tomorrow's adventure will bring. I understand the feeling of being too excited to sleep, but you should at least try. Yes, Master Galleon. After everything has been taken care of, I'd love to spend some time listening to your music. I'm really looking forward to hearing the both of you, Alex and Luna. Thanks, Galleon. Can I borrow your guitar? I just want to just wanna play a little bit. Good morning, Alex. It appears as though you didn't sleep well last night. It doesn't come as a surprise. What, do I just, do I look tired? I got bags under my eyes? What's going on? Dine and myself were once very much the same. With that aside, the case which I wish to consign to your charge is the following. I have received word that there are a dragon and a dragon master who reside on an, an islet, an islet, near lawn. Okay, okay. We gotta go hang out on the lawn, okay. I imagine that since you're in search of the dragons, this information will prove of worth to you. Nash, assist Alex in any way he deems necessary. Yes, Master Galleon. Please get a full account of the details from my steward. I trust you will not disappoint me, Alex. No way, Galleon. We got this. The guild has heard reports from the land of a man claiming to be the Dragon Master. There have also been conflicting reports that the man possesses one of the dragons. Galleon requests that you travel along with Nash and see if this man is who he claims to be. Awesome. I wonder if we missed anything in here. Like, what was the main room? I oh, can't get in there.
All right, so let's go. Uh, let's go get some armor for our boy, since he was gone when we were shopping, and then we're off to lawn. Let's see what we got. Um, which one was the armor shop? I think it was this one. Hello, shopkeep. Can you equip my mage? There we go. Oh yeah, I forgot about the pendants. Uh, nope, this isn't it. No one. Such a nice guy. I mean, not so nice that he would give us a discount. I would appreciate that. This shit's expensive, homie. Awesome. Alright, next episode, we are off to go find our next dragon. Yay! Later!